From the windswept caves of Nevada in North America to the arid coasts of Peru in South America, ancient Native American mummies are rewriting history through their DNA. Let's dive into this fascinating world of preservation, genetics, and the mysteries they unravel. What secrets do you think these silent sentinels might reveal about our past? Imagine stumbling upon a tomb in the Nevada desert, the dry air whispering tales of an ancient people. Inside, a figure lies perfectly preserved, wrapped in woven blankets, its story locked in ancient bones. What if this mummy, over 10,000 years old, holds the key to understanding the first peoples of the Americas? In 1940, archaeologist Sidney and Georgia Wheeler entered Spirit Cave, a rocky shelter 13 miles east of Fallon, Nevada, expecting to find remnants of a bygone era. What they uncovered was beyond imagination, the oldest naturally mummified human remains in North America. Dubbed the Spirit Cave Mummy, this individual, a man who died around 40 years old, was found wearing moccasins and wrapped in a rabbit-skin blanket, preserved by the cave's arid conditions. Initially thought to be only 1,500 to 2,000 years old, radiocarbon dating in the 1990s stunned the scientific world. He lived 10,600 years ago, at the dawn of the Holocene epoch. But who was he, and where did his ancestors come from? Genetic sequencing provided answers. Researchers extracted DNA from the mummy's bones and teeth. The results were clear. The spirit cave mummy was closely related to contemporary Native Americans, debunking theories of a separate Paleo-American population predating them. His genome showed ties to indigenous groups across North and South America, suggesting a rapid spread of early humans from Alaska to Patagonia during the Ice Age. In 2016, he was repatriated and reburied, his story coming full circle. The Spirit Cave Mummy, dated to approximately 10,600 years ago, underwent detailed genetic analysis. The study focused on both mitochondrial DNA and nuclear DNA to establish his ancestry and relationship to modern Native Americans. The mitochondrial haplogroup identified for the Spirit Cave Mummy is D4H3A. This haplogroup is a subclade of haplogroup D, which is one of the five major mitochondrial haplogroups associated with Native American populations. D4H3A is relatively rare today, but is found sporadically among indigenous peoples in the Americas, particularly along the Pacific coast from Alaska to southern South America. Its presence in the Spirit Cave Mummy suggests continuity with early Native American populations that dispersed across the continent after crossing Beringia. The nuclear DNA further confirmed his close genetic affinity to modern Native Americans, aligning with the single-wave migration model from a Siberian East Asian source population around 25,000 years ago. This finding was significant because it contradicted earlier hypotheses, known as the debunked Paleo-American model advocated by the Smithsonian, suggesting that pre-10,000-year-old remains might belong to a distinct non-Native American population. Instead, D4H3 a ties the spirit cave individual directly to the ancestral lineage of contemporary indigenous groups, such as the Fallon Paiute Shoshone tribe, who successfully repatriated his remains. The spirit cave mummy's DNA also hints at a broader narrative. Alongside 14 other ancient genomes from across the Americas, his genetic profile reveals how isolated groups moved swiftly across an empty landscape, adapting to diverse environments. In Peru, the story of ancient mummies takes a different turn. Here, the dry coastal deserts and high Andean peaks have preserved bodies for millennia, offering a genetic window into pre-Columbian life. Unlike Nevada's natural mummification, many Peruvian mummies were intentionally preserved by cultures like the Chinchorro, who began the practice over 7,000 years ago, long before Egypt's pharaohs. But it's the later civilizations, the Wari, Nazca and Inca, that have captivated geneticists with their complexity. What can these mummies tell us about the people who built mysterious pyramids in the Peruvian desert and complex temples in the high Andes? Ancient DNA from Peruvian mummies has been a topic of significant interest in understanding the genetic history of pre-Columbian populations in South America. Researchers have analyzed DNA from various mummified remains to uncover details about ancestry, migration, and cultural practices in ancient Peru. Mummification in Peru predates the Inca civilization, with cultures like the Chinchorro practicing it over 7,000 years ago. 
However, most genetic studies have focused on mummies from later periods, such as those from the Wari, Nazca, and Inca cultures. DNA analysis, particularly of mitochondrial DNA, passed maternally, has provided clues about the lineage of these ancient peoples. For example, one notable study involved a 500-year-old Inca child mummy found on Aconcagua Mountain in Argentina, near the Peruvian border. Researchers extracted mitochondrial DNA and found it belonged to a rare haplogroup, linking the boy to a population that nearly vanished after Spanish colonization. Matches were found with only a few modern individuals in Peru and Bolivia, and one ancient individual from the Wari Empire, pre-Inca, suggesting significant genetic loss due to Spanish colonization. Another study examined the DNA of Inca descendants to trace the origins of their emperors. By analyzing modern Peruvians' genetics and comparing them to ancient remains, scientists identified two ancestral lines, one from Lake Titicaca and another from the Cusco region, indicating the complex genetic makeup of Inca nobility. Take the aforementioned Aconcagua boy, a seven-year-old Inca child sacrificed 500 years ago atop a mountain near Peru's border with Argentina. Found in 1985, his mummified remains were remarkably intact, thanks to the freezing altitude. Researchers extracted mitochondrial DNA and uncovered a rare haplogroup, linking him to a population that nearly vanished after Spanish colonization. Matches were found with only three modern individuals in Peru and Bolivia, plus one ancient Wari individual from 600 to 1,000 years ago. This suggests a dramatic loss of genetic diversity. Up to 90% of native South Americans died post-contact, taking countless lineages with them. Haplogroup C1 is another of the five founding Native American mitochondrial haplogroups, widely distributed across the Americas. The C1b subclade is particularly common in South America, including Andean populations. Nevertheless, the Aconcagua boy's specific lineage within C1b was notable for its rarity. The study found that his exact haplotype matched only three living individuals, two from Peru and one from Bolivia, out of thousands in global databases, plus one ancient individual from the Wari culture. This rarity underscores the massive genetic bottleneck caused by European colonization, which wiped out many indigenous lineages. As mentioned, researchers estimate that up to 90% of Native American genetic diversity was lost post-contact, and the Aconcagua boys' C1b variant is a relic of that once-thriving diversity. The Inca weren't alone in leaving genetic clues. In 2023, archaeologists unearthed 73 Wari mummies near Lima at Pachacamac, some adorned with false heads, carved wooden or ceramic masks, symbolizing a lifelike transition to the afterlife. Dating to 800 to 1100 years ago, these remains are still under study, but their preservation hints at potential DNA analysis. Earlier finds, like a 3,000-year-old Manche mummy from Lima or a 1,000-year-old Ixma mummy with preserved hair, show how varied Peru's ancient peoples were. In Peru, the discovery of Wari mummies with false heads underscores their role in ancestor worship. Families prepared the deceased to continue living in the afterlife, a duty taken seriously across Andean cultures. Meanwhile, hoaxes like the Nazca alien mummies claim to have 30% unknown DNA muddy the waters. Debunked as manipulated human remains, they highlight the tension between sensationalism and science. Peer-reviewed genetic studies, like those on the Aconcagua boy, show how native populations adapted to their environments, only to face near extinction after European contact. The DNA of these mummies paints a vivid picture of ancient migration. The spirit cave mummy's genome aligns with a single rapid dispersal of Native Americans from a Siberian East Asian origin around 25,000 years ago. His genetic similarity to South American remains suggests this founding population fanned out quickly, splitting into isolated groups that adapted locally. In Peru, the Aconcagua boys' rare haplogroup points to regional diversity within this broader wave, preserved in the Andes until colonization disrupted it. Could there have been earlier migrations we've yet to detect? As a matter of fact, Peru's mummies also reveal pre-Inca complexity. The Wari show ties to both northern Ecuador through oyster shells and the southern Tiwanaku kingdom through carvings, suggesting a web of trade and influence. 
the Yixma and Manche mummies predating the Inca by centuries hint at distinct coastal cultures. Geneticists hope future sequencing will clarify these connections, perhaps linking them to Nevada's early inhabitants through shared ancestry. Both regions' mummies underscore a grim truth. European colonization decimated Native American genetics. In Peru, the Aconcagua boy's lineage, once common, survives in only a handful of modern individuals, a testament to the population collapse from disease and conquest. In Nevada, the spirit cave mummy's repatriation reflects a living connection to descendants who weathered similar losses. Across the Americas, ancient DNA shows a star-like radiation of early lineages, many of which disappeared after 1492. Controversial claims have also emerged, such as those surrounding the so-called Nazca mummies, with elongated skulls and three-fingered hands. Some researchers have suggested these contain 30% unknown DNA, hinting at non-human origins. However, mainstream science says these are hoaxes, asserting they are either manipulated human remains or constructed from earthly materials, with no credible peer-reviewed evidence supporting extraterrestrial claims. In contrast, legitimate studies of ancient Peruvian DNA have illuminated how native populations adapted to their environments and how their genetic diversity was reshaped by historical events like colonization. The arid conditions of Peru's coast naturally preserved many mummies, offering a rich resource for such research. These findings continue to evolve as genomic technologies advance, providing a deeper look into the lives of ancient Andeans. From the spirit cave, mummy's 10,600-year-old legacy to the Aconcagua boy's poignant sacrifice, ancient Native American mummies bridge millennia. Their DNA tells of epic journeys, vibrant cultures, and devastating upheavals, connecting us to the first Americans. As science and ethics intertwine, these remains challenge us to honor their humanity while seeking knowledge. Both the Spirit Cave Mummy D-4H3A and the Aconcagua Boy C-1B belong to the five founding Native American haplogroups, supporting the idea of a shared ancestral population that split and diversified as it spread across the Americas. D-4H3A's presence in North America and C-1B's prominence in South America highlight regional variations within this migration. These haplogroups trace back to a common origin in Siberia and East Asia, with D and C diverging as early humans adapted to new environments. The time gap, 10,600 years for Spirit Cave versus 500 years for Aconcagua Boy, also reflects evolutionary and historical shifts. The Spirit Cave mummy represents an early, relatively undifferentiated population, while the Aconcagua boy's rare C1B lineage shows how isolation and cultural practices, like Inca sacrifice, preserved unique genetic signatures until colonial disruption. Yet one more mystery lingers. Traces of Australasian ancestry appear in South American samples, but not in North American ones, including Spirit Cave. Could this suggest an earlier unknown migration to the southern continent? The question tantalizes scientists and leaves us wondering what other chapters of human history lie buried in the earth.